Welcome back to 5-Minute Copilot, and today we're building custom copilots for Teams now using Python via the Teams AI library and Teams toolkit. So let's build it. Creating a mathematical AI expert to help users in Teams group chat learn the math behind predicting a solar eclipse and predict another eclipse 18 years away. It's easy to build and will help you create your own conversational AI. We start out in Visual Studio Code with Teams Toolkit extension installed. The prerequisites are in the video description. So let's walk through the Python setup. Now open the terminal, clone the Teams AI library GitHub repository. Now we open up the Teams AI folder, then go to Python, samples, and then we open up the MathBot sample. Here we can open the terminal and run poetry install and poetry build to prepare the sample. And if needed, we can do poetry update to update our dependencies. Now I'm just fast forwarding through some of the loading here. The next you can do control shift P to open up the command palette and then do Python create a virtual environment. Now we can rename the sample.env file to .env and then in there we can add in our OpenAI key. Note that this sample uses OpenAI's Assistant API, where you can bring your own OpenAI assistance to Teams by entering in their ID. For now, we'll leave this blank to generate and add in the ID in later. And now we can press F5 to let Teams Toolkit locally load our assistant to Teams. And remember to go to the Teams Toolkit extension and then make sure that you're logged into your account with sideloading enabled. And here I'm in the bot.py file to go over some of the main code for the MathBot assistant. Now here you can see the model, the instructions that it's using the code interpreter tool, as well as it has a note to create an assistant ID if none was provided. Now we're running locally in Teams, but our assistant is not active. So we want to send any message to get a response in the terminal for our assistant ID. And we'll just plug that back into our ENV file, reload the custom copilot, and we're good to go. All right, now we're back in a group chat in Teams with MathBot, and now we can ask MathBot to explain the mathematics behind predicting a solar eclipse and to estimate when another eclipse will occur. And look at the thorough answer here, breaking down the math and reasoning behind a solar eclipse using the Cero cycle to correctly predict another eclipse 18 years from now on April 19th, 2042. Now let's create our own custom copilot from scratch using the pre-release version 5.7 of Teams Toolkit. So you select create a new app, custom copilot, basic AI chatbot, choose your programming language, then select if you want Azure OpenAI or OpenAI models, put in your key. And this time we're creating a custom copilot that's solely focused on eclipses right from the start. So the Teams AI library has created our component scaffolding, really getting us a jump start in development. We can do Python create our environment to create the virtual environment. Now you select the path and then select the requirements doc that you want to build from. So this is a slightly different setup than the sample, so always be sure to pay attention to the readme files if you have any questions or issues. And now we can go over to the prompt file where we can add in our instructions for our custom copilot. And this can be as simple or as detailed as you required. We're designing an easy to use Eclipse Assistant encouraging you to book a trip to the next Eclipse through our website. And for that extra level of intelligence, we'll go to the config.py file to switch out our model to the more advanced GPT-4. And by pressing F5, we're back to testing our custom copilot, but this time we've chosen to use the Teams app test tool. And look at that, another great answer, including our call to action. And don't forget, you can also add in your own data sources, as well as augmentation for control over an advanced series of actions. Congratulations on your new custom copilot, and it's exciting to expand our community of Python developers. So please check out the other samples and look at the links in the video description to learn more. Catch you next time.